not adjust your screens right now, guys. This is this is me going professional. This is me going Jacques Slade on you, okay? You see, your boy got the setup. I've basically decided to invest in myself and get a studio. We'll talk more about that another day because that's not the topic of today's video. Obviously, the topic of today's video are the top 10 collab sneakers in my collection. Now, I took to Instagram to ask you guys what top 10 video would you like to see because I want to bring a lot more top 10 videos in 2021. Multiple people said collaboration. So that's what I'm doing today. Now, before we get started, I'm actually very, very excited to say that this video is actually sponsored by Sony. That's right guys, Sony has uh, sent me their new headphones. Now I've had these things for a couple weeks now and majority of the time I'm listening to music with them which is it's been phenomenal, but I've also used them to do a little bit of editing as well as streaming some TV shows and movies when I don't want to wake up Mina. So I just I put these bad boys on and it does not wake her up and I get to hear my movies in A1 quality. Now I actually filmed a portion of this video a few days ago. So quickly, let's flash back to that. I want to give you a full breakdown on why I think this is the best. This is the best wireless headphones you can get right now. So let's break it down. So these beautiful things right here are the WH 1000 XM4 Sony wireless noise canceling studio headset. It's got the 360 reality audio, 30 hours of battery life, of course, Bluetooth wireless noise canceling. And I actually watch a lot of tech YouTubers like Marcus Brown Lee, and he's actually praised these headphones. And that's why I was super excited when Sony sent me these. Well, hello there. How are you? I need noise canceling when it comes to my headphones. It's because I just, you know, when I travel a lot, when I'm on planes, when I'm out going for walks, I need no distractions at all. And the noise canceling on this thing is amazing. The reason for that is the ND noise canceling processor. And of course, it's got the Bluetooth audio, which that's a must. And the dual noise sensor lets you listen without distractions. It actually also has five microphones on here. So like communication with this thing, if you're on a phone call or wherever it may be, is effortless. The one thing I loved about these headphones is that it, when I was listening to music and Mina was in the room, whenever I said something to her, the volume would go down by itself so that I can hear her response. And there's an app where there's a whole bunch of features that you could play with and adjust to basically get the perfect settings for you. As far as the fit goes, I absolutely love these. I, I used to just edit videos through the actual speakers of the laptop. And then I learned that that wasn't the best thing to do if I really want to make sure my audio is perfect. I got to have headphones on. So when I had these on and I was actually editing my video, I completely forgot that I even had these on because these things are just so comfortable. And this color that they actually sent me is perfect too, because no matter what my outfit is or what shoes I'm wearing, it goes with everything. So yeah, man, these things are absolutely fantastic. I love them. I'm excited to keep using them and keep creating with them as well as listening to my favorite music on these things. If you're someone who's looking to get in the market and grab one of these, definitely link is going to be down below. Do not miss out because these things are, they're very good. So again, huge shout out to Sony for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the countdown. At number 10, I'm going with the Puma Rider. Is that what they're called? Puma Rider? Anytime I talk Puma on my channel, y'all think I am a big, big, big time capper. I'm not lying. And this one definitely stands out as one of the best collaborations to me because it was just executed perfectly. And it just represents the old school Nintendo system with, I mean, look at that patch right there on the tongue. Can you please show appreciation? Like, can the camera please focus on that patch right there? Because that is the cover of the old Mario game. Like they put the cover on there. They got the Nintendo controller. This shoe is crazy. And then when you actually see them in hand and you see the suede, the leather quality, I bust these out and I wear these all the time. Like these ones are actually dirty. I don't know if it can, yeah, like you could see, I actually, actually wear these. So this is number nine. I mean, this is number 10. Now we're going to number nine. All right, next up, we're going with the Cause Jordan 4s. These are sick, man. I really like this. This was like one of the first Jordan 4s that really like made me fall in love with the 4. I was never really a Jordan 4 guy. Like, 4 was cool, but it wasn't really like hype. And at the time that these came out, I was known as the biggest hype piece on YouTube. So obviously I want, am I still that? I don't, huh. 
And then the back tab, you just got the cause X's with the air. Leather sock liner, like this is, it's a really good shoe. And then it just glows in the dark light. It's a really, really good shoe. And I like these a lot and I do wear them, but I, I definitely need to wear these more. And prices have gone crazy on these. I don't know if you guys have been on the stock market websites, but yeah, these things are, these things are going crazy up. I think they're like almost three, four K or something like that. I gotta double check, but yeah, they're, they're really crazy. And I don't have a black pair. Screw the black pair. If you know, you know why. All right, number eight, I'm rocking with the Sean Witherspoon 97 ones. One, 197 or 97 one. It's pretty late right now, so my sneaker knowledge is at an all time low. Anyway, this was the collaboration between Sean Witherspoon, owner of Round Two, one of the owners of Round Two, and Nike because he won the Nike competition, the Air Max competition, where the winner could, you know, their shoe would come to life. Myself, as well as I'm sure a lot of you, voted for this shoe to win. So this was like the first time that someone from the actual culture got to make a shoe. Sean Witherspoon, owner of resale store Round Two, like. This was groundbreaking and it still is groundbreaking. Like this shoe is, is legendary in my opinion. I'm not even an Air Max guy at all. I've never been an Air Max guy, but this shoe, it literally, the definition of what I'm about to say, it hits different. Like it's beautiful. It's amazing quality, colorway, everything. It's gorgeous. It's literally gorgeous. Like you could corduroy, like all right, let's move on to the next one, number seven. My sneaker of the year, the Jordan 5 Metallic Off-White. Now, I tried to limit myself with the Off-Whites on this list just because there's so many at this point, but this is definitely one of my favorites right here. Classic Jordan colorway with the Off-White hit. I mean, I don't really need to break down why this shoe is so great. I kind of did that in my top 10 sneaker video. Super wearable, super noticeable at the same time. It's just, it's gorgeous, man. I love it. <sighs> These are sick, man. I'm really, really happy they dropped these and I hope that they do more fives. I saw a little bit of the grape samples in one of the photos he posted, so hopefully those come out, but this will do for now, so yeah. Thank you. Number six, of course, we gotta show some love to Kobe Bean Bryant right now. One brand that I feel like Kobe always showed love to and had a few collaborations with was undefeated the undefeated pro tro kobe one i chose these over the fours and the fives just because the one is one of my favorite kobe models and just the camo vibe on this the undefeated logo all the different colorways they did i chose to go with the classic green colorway over the orange one that i have just because i feel like this is probably the more wearable one but yeah man it's just super super di dick dick <laughs> Yeah, man, these are just super, super sick from the undefeated logo on the back to the undefeated and Kobe logos, both being on the front of the tongue. You remember old Kais just loved camo. I was camoed out every t everything in 2015, 2016, even a little bit of 2017, but camo was definitely my vibe. At number five, we've got the Jordan 5 Trophy Room. I remember the day I made the video for these. In that video, I said that y'all were sleeping. Like, y'all were literally sleeping on this shoe. And the price that I got these at on StockX was like 450 bucks. Two weeks later, these were going for almost $2,000. Now they're about 1500 depending on your size. But this shoe, I knew it was going to go up just because this is an insane collaboration. Quality-wise, storytelling, like, this shoe is goaded. The baby blue suede literally all over the shoes. The icy bottom with the hardwood under. Obviously, mine's not that icy because saying we wear our sneakers shout out to perfect pair they're numbered on the inside too and there was only what seven thousand pairs of these seven thousand pairs on there as you guys can see it's probably didn't focus but and then the inside the inside is gorgeous too because you got like a cork insert with the trophy room logo like bro these shoes are so sick man like literally now a little bit of a spoiler alert for the last four sneakers on this list they are all air jordan one Number four, we got the Air Jordan 1 Union. Now, this one, this honestly was hard. Like, I wanted to put this in the top three, but the other three are just a little bit better than this one. This shoe is so sick, man. This is the Black Toe colorway of the Union collaboration, and they just, execution, amazing. All right, they took two classic Jordan 1 colorways and meshed them together, and then you've got the whole, like, vintage look where it looks like it's aged. It looks like it's an actual pair from 85. The Union tab 
grab right there. Just the, also another huge thing about this shoe, the way that they rolled them out at the actual Rose Bowl flea market, like they had these and people thought this was like a bootleg and they had like Sean there. Like it was super, super dope. So this is an LA shoe. I know this isn't the LA colorway, but just though like this is an LA Jordan one in my opinion. So this is a good shoe. This is a good Jordan one collaboration and there's three other ones that are, I guess they're a little bit better. All right, so number three is probably gonna piss a lot of you guys off because some of you might have this at number two or even at number one. And I'll explain why I have this at number three. Damn, I'm rethinking my list right now. Okay, I, okay, I'm good at the, I'm good with this, I'm good with this. Number three, Fragment Air Jordan 1. So I didn't even know this until recently, but Fragment just doesn't do their own stuff. Like they only do collaboration. So Fragment is literally the goat of collabs. Anyway, this shoe right here is iconic, man. It's literally a black toe Jordan 1, but instead of red, they put blue. During this time, you didn't really see too many collaborations with one. So the Fragment was definitely one of the first ones that really brought hype to the shoe, in my opinion. Again, another shoe that has just gone stupid in prices like I'm talking 5k depending on the size I remember when I got mine they were going for like 15 to 1600 yeah the shoe is great it's number three let's go to two number two is the Air Jordan 1 off-white Chicago it was a no-brainer that this was gonna be either one or two and I'm not gonna lie I originally did have these at one but I decided to switch it last minute because quality I think quality is very important when it comes to a shoe and ranking them. It's not just about the hype and the colorway. You want the shoe to actually have great leathers, suede, all that stuff. And if I'm being honest with you, even though it is a good Jordan 1, it's not the best of best quality. It's an off-white and that's why these go for over $5,000. So the story behind it, how Virgil went to a meeting with Nike and took a pair of Jordan 1s, which I believe were Chicago mids, and he basically deconstructed constructed the shoe at the meeting and said, this is what I want my Jordan 1 to look like. That story is dope to me. I don't know why, but it just, it seems dope to me that he would do that in a corporate office with Nike, like the head Nike guys. And they're just probably looking at him like, is he really destroying our shoe right now? Like, but that's what Virgil does. I'm not here to like hype him up because honestly, I don't even really like the stuff he's done over the last two years with his own brand, Off-White. I feel like it's kind of gone downhill. But when he does his Jordan collaborations, he always kills it. And he started out with this and it was just, it's a banger. Uh, so yeah, this is number two. And again, the reason why it's not number one is quality. And now I'll tell you what is actually number one. And the number one sneaker collaboration in my collection, which I'm probably gonna be called a hype beast for this, but I gotta go with these, man. This is my favorite collaboration in my collection, and it is the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1. I love these sneakers. I, I like the colorway, the backward swoosh, the quality, the leather, the suede, everything, the stash pocket, the extra laces, like they just absolutely, Travis absolutely killed these. Like Travis is an actual sneakerhead. He made sure that this collab was beautiful and the perfect sneaker for any sneakerhead to own. Right here on the toe, you could just see the creases and it's not even an ugly crease in my opinion. It's like a buttery crease so that you could see the quality of that leather. And then, like I said, the brown suede, super, super beautiful. You even have a little bit of like nylon up here at the ankle area. The backward swoosh is something we've never seen. Like we've seen so many collaborations with the Jordan 1 before this. But this is the first time they took that swoosh and played with it. They switched it around and now you know that this is the signature for Travis's Jordan 1s is the backward swoosh. And yeah, man, it's just a great shoe, great quality. Obviously, I'm a huge Travis fan. You might also notice that there was no like Yeezys on the list. There was no like fear of gods on the list. And the reason for that is because I would personally consider those more of like their own shoes. Even the Yeezys from the Yeezy 1s and the Yeezy 2s with Nike, those were their actual like shoes. So I would consider those like signature shoes. That's why I didn't put any like Yeezys on here. No fear of gods on here. I think those are the only ones, but yeah, there's no Yeezys on this list. It was 
mostly Jordans. So yeah, that is the top 10 collaboration sneakers on my list. It was honestly pretty cool to go through all the shoes and see which ones were my favorite of the bunch. And now it's the time of the video where y'all tell me if I'm crazy or not, if I missed anything, if I ranked anything too low, anything too high. Give me your opinions. Appreciate y'all. Make sure you guys subscribe, join the crew. And now it's time for me to get my thumbnail. So I'll see you on the next one.